So today we're going to talk about specialty tubes. So as you can see in the rack here, we have a number of tubes. And even though we have an order of draw, these tubes are rather exempt from that. Sometimes they need to be drawn by themselves, or sometimes the tests that have been ordered for these are single test. So we don't usually consider these into the order of draw. So let's start on the far left. We have the pink top tube. The pink top tube is considered a blood banking tube. Blood banking are immunohematology. This tube has EDTA, but it has a label that's designed to meet blood banking standards. Okay, the next tube that we have is the pearl, also known as the pearl white. This tube has EDTA. It is known as a PPT or plasma preparation tube. This tube has a gel barrier and it is used for DNA. Okay, the next tube is going to be the royal blue tube. This tube is used for trace elements, toxicology, and nutritional studies. This tube, if you look carefully on the left hand side, it has a red stripe that goes down the label. That means that this is a serum tube. It has an activator. It'll clot usually within 15 to 30 minutes. So remember the red label, the red stripe is for serum. The next tube, blue top, that has a lavender stripe down the side. So that indicates this is going to be an anticoagulant. This tube has EDTA. Used for the exact same test, it will just give you plasma instead of serum. The next tube we have is the orange top tube. Also has a gel barrier. This tube has an additive known as thrombin. Thrombin is a super activator for clotting. This tube will clot under five minutes and um, it is used for stat chemistry. The next tube is the tan. This tube is used for lead studies. It has been guaranteed by the manufacturer to be almost lead free, less than 0 0.01 micrograms per parts per million. Next, we have the quantiferon tubes. This is a set of tubes, always drawn in a set. They also have a little gel barrier in the bottom. They are used for TB testing. Now, the tubes on the left are all eight inversions. The quantiferon tubes are to be shaken at least 10 times. Okay, thank you.